welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video in today's video we're gonna be doing this makeup look together and this is my first time like I think like my second time doing a blue eyeshadow look for some reason I always struggle with blue eyeshadow I have a hard time blending and I don't really know what colors to pair it with but I think we did a good job today for the most part so if you guys want to see me struggle a little bit for the next 20 minutes or 15 minutes I don't know how long this video is gonna be then just keep on watching the video I picked up three different palettes here from my little stash that have the color blue in it so the first one is the Mar from Colourpop and it looks whoops and it looks like this let me just open it for you guys this is what it looks like and it has a really nice blue shades I feel like I can play with them and they also have some warm tone colors as well so I think I can mix this up I also have the zodiac palette from Colourpop as well and this was the Kathleen's X Colourpop collaboration so I have that one here and there's like two blue shadows ish in there as well I think I can kind of play around with those and then I also have the urban decay on the run palette which just has one blue shade but it also has a lot of like warm tone colors so I feel like those are wearable colors that I can start with I don't know which colors I'm gonna use I have no idea what I'm gonna do I do know that I'm gonna start with like a warm crease because I think that's just like the easiest and safest place to start I'm gonna be taking my Tarte Shape, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade medium and I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel out these dark circles because your girl's dark circles are no joke so I always like to go with concealer because I feel like it just gives me the best coverage so that's why you guys always see me just canceling out my dark circles with some type of concealer in my videos it just works for me and then I just pretty much set it with setting powder once I'm done so that I don't have creases and I feel like that just helps me blend out my shadows much better as opposed to just going right in with shadow for me that just doesn't work I have a harder time blending that way so that's why I always set my concealer with setting powder the setting powder I'm going to be using today is from e.l.f. and it's the Shield Beauty setting powder and I'm just going to put that all over my eye just to set the concealer. Now I always like to do my eyeshadow first just because in case I mess up I can just wipe it off without having to do my whole face all over again and since eyeshadow is not my expertise and I'm still learning how to do it I'm definitely not confident enough to do my base first and then do eyeshadow for last because nine times out of ten I, I usually wipe off my eyeshadow because I'm still learning and if it doesn't come out the way I like it to then it's coming off so that's why I always do my eyeshadow first all right I think I'm gonna go in with the mod one from Colourpop I think I'm gonna go with this color first right here it's called boozy and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid first just to create a transitioning shade I also like that this palette has a mirror it just makes my life so much more easier so I can actually stay in the frame because when I'm doing my eyeshadow I'm always eating the mirror that's how close I am because I want to make sure that I'm blending everything I'm using a morphe m518 brush just to blend this out this is like my favorite blending brush because it just works so easily it's definitely messed up and old you guys can see the crease that I have here that's how you know I've been using it for like but it's my favorite blending brush because it just helps me blend everything out seamlessly I think I'm gonna build that color up a lot just because I really do want to get the pigmentation of the actual shade I want it to be able to show and if I do it if I use it lightly I feel like it's not really gonna show what I'm thinking is I can use this as like a transitioning shade and then put this maybe I can use this as a transition transitioning shade and then put this on top of the lid but I also want to use this green color so oh man I'm a little nervous okay so let's try I mean with this blue match it's not gonna be very similar I don't know Ooh, I'm nervous okay, okay okay let's see um let me get a brush a smaller brush this is a Sigma Define crease brush e38 and I'm gonna just tap it lightly just because I don't know how pigmented this is gonna be and I'm just gonna focus on the crease Oh god, I'm nervous. I've tried playing with blue so many times, you guys, and it just does not work. I am nervous. I don't know how this is going to come out. Alright, so I got the color pretty much packed on the lid. I'm going to go back in with the first brush. And should I do that? No, let me go back in with like a smaller brush just to blend that in. Let me blend it in first and see what happens. Ooh, is this brush dirty? See, I feel like these colors are so hard to blend. Like, how do you get rid of the harsh edges? I feel like makeup gurus make it look so easy. 
I can never master a blue look. Oh my gosh. It's not blending. <laughs> All right, let me go back in with the big brush and take the same first color boozy and just put it on the lid and try to mix it and see what happens. I don't want it to look harsh, so I really want that to blend nicely. All right, so we're starting to get rid of that harsh edge, but I feel like the color is completely changing now. It's not as bold. <sighs> let me just continue to blend this out. All right, so I think I got it to be blended, but now I lost the color. So I'm gonna try to go back in again and just like pack on the color again, but not like in the crease, cause I don't wanna, I don't know how to do this. All right, so here we are. I tried to blend it in as much as I can. I feel like it looks so crazy on camera, but I think it's gonna look crazy before it looks pretty. So here we are, and this is what we're working with. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this teal shade right here, which is called Gridlock. And I'm just gonna put that on my lid. I should probably cover the entire eye with that blue first so that it looks even throughout the whole eye. Hold on. Okay, not terrible. I think I can clean it up once like I get a visual of the eye. It's not bad. So I'm gonna take a flat brush. Let me find one. So I'm gonna take this color. It's on my finger now. Oh, that's so pretty. Look how pretty that is. I feel like on camera it's coming out more blue than it actually is in person. In person is more teal. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. So I'm gonna take a fluffy brush again and just try to blend this out even more. I don't wanna pick up more blue because I feel like it could get messy really easily. So I'm gonna try to just work with the blue that's already on my lid to try to just like even that out. And I also want to keep the eyeshadow pretty low because sometimes I tend to get carried away and then, then I kind of have to like recarve out my brow because the eyeshadow kind of goes too up high. So I'm trying to learn how to keep my eyeshadow low and not too, too high. This is why I do my eyeshadow first because I'm messy when it comes to doing my eyeshadow. So, so far I think it looks okay. It's kind of hard to tell because I don't have my base and everything is not done. I'm debating on doing a wing. I think I should do a wing. Let me just take these makeup wipes and just wipe this off. I think I blended it pretty decently. I think we'll be able to get a better look once everything is done, but so far it's not looking too bad. This look, I feel like a wing liner will definitely clean everything up and make it look better. I'm gonna be taking my e.l.f. tapes and I'm just gonna put them under my eyes so that I can do my wing liner. I still can't really do my liner on my own. I feel like I always need some help with some tape just because it makes everything so much easier. So I'm just gonna put it on it. Okay, so I forgot to mention, but I did end up taking some of that green shade which is called My Way. And I kind of just added some towards the outer and on top. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more because I kind of like how that looks. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more of that green and put it towards the end so it looks like a little ombre. I feel like when I do my eyeliner, I cannot breathe, I cannot move, I cannot flinch, I cannot think. My camera stopped recording, but I did the first one. I was a little nervous with it, so I took off the tape just to see how it looked. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one and just pray that they come out even. All right, so for the most part, eyes are done. If I feel like I need to clean up after, I will. But let's get started on the skin. I feel like it took a long time to get here. But because I did wipe off most of my moisturizer, I'm gonna go back in with the one that I used today. And I just used the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. And I love this because for my dry skin, it's really moisturizing. And I like matte makeup most of the time. So this really just helps my skin stay hydrated even under matte makeup. 
For foundation today, I'm going to be going in with the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation that has SPF 15. I actually forgot that I had this foundation, so I'm going to go ahead and use that today. This foundation, I feel like it works better when I use a brush versus a beauty blender because it gives me more coverage, but all of my makeup brushes are zutty. I need to clean them. I'm also a full coverage type of girl when it comes to foundation. What do you guys prefer? Are you guys also like a full coverage type of girl when it comes to foundation? Or do you like like the more skin-like finish where it's like medium coverage, not too much coverage? What do you guys prefer? I feel like whenever you do like a bold eyeshadow, you have to have like full coverage. That's just me for my preference. I think you just need to have like a bold eyeshadow look. I don't know. What do you guys think? I love cleaning up my brows um, with foundation, like the top part of it, just so that it looks more snatched, you know? All right, so brows are carved out and they look much better. I really like this foundation. Like, it feels really nice on my skin, and so I have been enjoying wearing it lately. I'm going to go ahead with a concealer that I used to use a lot, and this is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And I use this a lot because I really do like the coverage that it gives me. I naturally have dark circles, which you guys already know. I always like to go in with a concealer that is full coverage to cover these bad boys uh, with concealer you can go ahead and just take your time to like sharpen up that line if you mess up with your wing I'm just gonna kind of clean it up a little bit This is probably the worst part, like getting into these corners without like messing up the eyeshadow. Uh. So I'm going to be a little extra today and do a cream contour. This is from Neutrogena. I actually really like to use this as a contour shade and concealer. This is their Radiant Cream Concealer. And I really like this because it really blends out nicely and I'm able to just contour my skin and it looks really pretty. The shade that I'm using, by the way, is Chai Deep. And I love this one because it's so good. And I'm going to go in like patting motion because I don't want to pick up the foundation. Since I haven't set it yet, I don't want it to move. So I'm just going to go in like patting motions. Look how pretty that blended. Did you guys see that? I love this concealer. Really quickly, before I continue, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. And I love this palette. I used to be obsessed with it when I used to do my makeup back in the day when I first started. But I never used the banana shade. So I'm going to use the banana shade to set my under eyes. The sucky part about being in quarantine is that we didn't get to have a honeymoon and that sucks and I know it's not that serious like we're gonna have a lifetime together which is why it's like not really the end of the world for us because you know this this is serious like we're legitimately in a pandemic and people are legitimately dying and that's obviously more serious than just going on a honeymoon but you know it's just like oh, I really want to go on a honeymoon we also had planned to do like a wedding reception like a not a wedding reception it was more like a intimate dinner with our friends and family that was gonna be happening March 28th that got canceled because of coronavirus sometimes we have plans and God is just like yeah that's cute that that's what you're planning but that's just not gonna happen so we're all in this together honestly all of our situations look different but we're all in this together some people cancel their wedding some people cancel baby shower some people can't have proper funerals like it's crazy I don't really talk about my personal life on social media when it comes to that because I like to keep the fine line between personal and like being limited how can i explain this i do like to keep a fine line when sharing or talking about my personal life just because i don't know i'm just very limited when it comes to what i talk about but i didn't want to talk to you guys about the things that kind of it's like some things that we're going through or some things that we faced and we're honestly just grateful to be alive and healthy and here still because a lot of people have died a lot of people are losing lo loved ones and it's really sad and very heartbreaking and my heart does go out to everyone or anyone who has lost 
lost a family member during this time but just know that there is always a light at the end of the tunnel and we're gonna get through this together I have been distracting myself obviously by creating content and hopefully being a distraction for you guys like I want you guys to come on my channel and like forget about what's going on or just like have a refresher you know so yeah so we're not having a honeymoon hopefully we'll be able to have a honeymoon maybe next year I don't know how things are gonna play out to be honest I don't know if we're gonna travel this year I don't know oh my god it looks so crazy don't worry guys I'm gonna blend this out but I don't know how things are gonna you know work out we didn't really have like a legitimate wedding because we wanted to do things a little bit more low-key but we were hoping that we would eventually be able to like do our dinner reception and like have our friends and family together which honestly for us is not the end of the world what the heck happened here how can I fix this I hope I didn't mess this up. Maybe if I do like a bronzer. I suck at talking and doing my makeup at the same time because then I mess up. I don't know how I feel about this contour. I feel like I need something a little bit more cool tone. I'm feeling good. Like I should. I'm gonna go with my Fenty just to give me some cool tone in here because I feel like I went with like a bronzy concealer and then I went with a bronzy bronzer so I'm trying to like fix this a little bit I try to blend this out because I feel like it wasn't coming out the way I wanted it to it was looking a little wheel so I think I fixed it now let's go on before doing highlight I'm gonna do my under eye and I've been dying to dive in more into this green so I think I'm just gonna do green all over the under eye and then maybe kind of blend in some blue let me see what I can do All right, so while I'm doing that, I just put some powder under my eyes because I know this glitter is gonna have a little bit of fallout. I wanna prevent the mess as much as possible. I was, I already started and it had like a bunch of fallout, so. I think the green and the blue is so pretty together. But I'm kinda gonna do like an ombre. It's hard to see because of the powder, but it looks so cute. The combination of the green and the blue, I think it's so pretty. So I'm gonna leave it like that for now. You just wipe this off. Okay, so I have this Urban Decay liner. This is the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Mainline. And I'm gonna just draw on my waterline, just so I can tie in the bottom eyes with the top. That's so pretty. Okay, let me go in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara just to do these bottom lashes because they looking a little bit like a rotten eye. Sorry guys, I have to be like so close to the mirror. Okay, that made a really nice difference because these under eyes were looking a little bit naked. Before doing highlight, I'm gonna set my face with the Elf Glow Dewy Mist because I did put a lot of powders on my face, so I just wanted to look like skin again. Alright, for highlight, I am gonna be using the Milani 03 Rose Glow Palette. And it looks like this. I'm gonna be using that gold shade in the middle. It's so beautiful and so nice. So I'm gonna just put that right here. Can you guys see that pit mark tart on? I love it. So I'm gonna go crazy with this because I wanna be a little Zoe. I wanna be a little shimmery. I wanna be a little shiny. We'll blend that out. Hold on, guys. I'm barely touching the pan, by the way. That's how pigmented this eyeshadow, I mean, this highlight is so pretty. Me puse demasiado. Oh, I forgot to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. I feel like that is always a must. It just makes your eyebrow pop out more and it makes like your inner corners also pop out more. So I'm gonna do that. All right, now it's time for lips. 
I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to keep it nude just because the eyes are already super bold and I don't want to throw in another color in there. So, so I'm going to go in with Cork from MAC just to outline my lips. Alright, so let's try out this combo. I'm gonna go with the Huda Beauty. It's called the Staycation Matte Lipstick, and it's really, really light, super light. I can never wear this lipstick by itself, but let's just see what happens here. We got a nude lip, but it's a little too nude for my liking. So I'm going to go with the Fenty Lip Gloss, and this is the Fenty Glow. And this does have a color to it, so maybe it can just bring my lips. Maybe it can just, like, bring back my lips. Alright, so this is the final look. I'm actually very happy with the way it turned out. I mean, first time doing blue eyeshadow like this. I'm not mad at it. I think I can work more on my blending skills for sure. It's just, I don't know, it's hard for me to blend a blue for some reason. I need to watch like more tutorials on how people do like blue shadow. I probably should have done that before doing this, but we, we just got it done. Like, I think this is not bad. I think the best part of this look for me personally is the way my eyeliner came out. Eyeliner is not easy to do. So I'm actually really happy with the way it came out. And yeah, I know this video was all over the place. My thoughts were all over the place. I was like talking to you guys and then I had to concentrate on the makeup. So I'm like, talk, stop, and I talk. Girl, I know, I'm a hot mess. Welcome to my world. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy this style of video. <laughs> And if you do enjoy these styles of videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and you give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below as always for video recommendations and all that stuff, girl. You know what to do. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.